What's up, Learn How Nation? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Cleaner for Instagram. I'm Andy, and you're watching Learn How. We create video lessons and tutorials to help people learn how to use technology to improve their lifestyle. So if you like what you see in this video, please consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to check out right up here in the top corner, we've got some free downloads for you guys also to help you improve your lifestyle. Like I said, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use the Cleaner for Instagram app to clean up your Instagram account, whether that's a business account or a personal account. This is a great way to manage who you're following and who your followers are. If you want to mass remove uh, people you're following based on what type of account and what your Instagram strategy is, this is the best app that I've found for doing that. First, I wanna get into a little bit of Instagram strategy here for you guys. If you have an Instagram account, whether that's for like your personal page or you have a business account or you're just trying to create some type of influencer account on Instagram, uh, that's a big deal these days. If you can grow your Instagram account to a very large following, you can earn all sorts of brand deals uh, that's why you see like fitness Instagrammers, blogger Instagrammers with, you know, thousands of followers making a lot of good money on Instagram uh, because they're able to build influence. A strategy, guys, for building an Instagram following. And I don't really spend a lot of time on Instagram. That's just not really the best model fit for what I'm doing with Learn How. So I don't really spend a whole lot of time on Instagram, but it does work for different niches depending on what you're trying to do. So if you are trying to build an Instagram following, there's three things that are very, very important that are going to help you grow the fastest. The first is to post consistent, high quality content. And a lot of experts actually recommend you post on Instagram three to seven times daily. That's not like Instagram story, that's like actual posts on Instagram. So that can seem a little bit overwhelming, but if you're smart and you can batch content, meaning you go out, whatever it is you're trying to do, and do a mass photo shoot and get 100 photos, that'll set you up for like a month, you know? And you can just try to do that you know, a couple times during the month and get everything scheduled. Uh, not gonna go into a whole lot of detail there, but if you wanna listen to my podcast, the Learn How Podcast, I'm talking about business, online business strategies and stuff like that. And uh, I can go into more detail in a, in a later episode on building an Instagram following. But that's the first thing. The second thing would be to engage with your followers, you know, and that, that comes in a variety of ways. You can use relevant hashtags. You can comment. You can promote commenting, like saying stuff like tag a friend, uh, give me your feedback, respond to comments promoting engagement, and that'll also get your posts more visible on Instagram. The last thing I would say that you need to do to grow on Instagram is like, comment, follow. That is the best way to grow on Instagram. That means that for your account, let's say you're doing a fitness Instagram account, you need to go into the search feature on Instagram, search fitness or relevant hashtags, find photos that resonate with you, you're gonna click on the photo, like the photo, leave a comment, and follow the person that posted it. And you're gonna do that every single day, every single hour. And I think, as far as I know right now, you can do that up to 30 times in an hour without triggering like the Instagram algorithm that will block you and ban you for a period of time. So if you like, comment, share on less than 30 photos every hour, you are going to grow your Instagram account if you're posting good qual good quality content uh, consistently. It's pretty much guaranteed, guys. That's how it's done. And it takes a crap ton of time, but unless you wanna pay for ads, that's how you do it. This app really ties into that strategy of like, comment, follow, because you're going to be following a lot of people. But here's the big key is you wanna maintain that good ratio of following to followers. If you're following, you are following 5,000 people and 25 people are following you back, no one's gonna follow you. Everyone's gonna look at you and be like, oh, they're a spammer account. So it is important to maintain a good ratio. You always want more followers than following. So what does that mean? 
you're following a lot of people every day, you need to go through and unfollow people. Now, I'm not suggesting that you go follow people, they follow you back, and then you unfollow them. That's kind of bush league in my opinion for building a business or a brand. But it is smart to follow people and if they don't follow you back, then you unfollow them. So the people that you're engaged with that are following both ways, you want that to stay there. But if you're following people that aren't following you back, that's kind of a waste, you know? So this is the perfect app to manage that. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So let's open the cleaner app for Instagram. And you're gonna have to link your Instagram account uh, when you get the app set up. I will also mention that there are upgrades available for different features of the app. It's free app to download, but there are upgrades in the app that you can get that I use to make life a lot easier. But I'm gonna show you kind of the overview of how I use it. So I had an Instagram account called The Fisherman's Factory for a, an online fishing drop shipping store that I did. And I used this strategy to build up my Instagram account where I'd follow people, and then if they don't follow me back, I unfollow them. So this is the fastest way to do that with this app. So right now I'm on the following. So these are people that I'm following. You can see here, there's little icons on different people, like a green thing or a orange thing. The green thing means that you're following them and they're following you. So it's a mutual follow. The orange U-turn means that you're following them, but they are not following you. So those are the people that you want to unfollow. It can be very, very tedious uh, to do that manually. And in Instagram, you can't see that. You don't know if they're following you back unless you like scroll through and look and that takes forever. So this is the best app for that. Okay, so this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna click list, load all users. And then you'll see there, you got you know the little green circles for mutual follow and doesn't follow you. And you're gonna go, Quick select, advanced quick select, select non-followers, start, and it's gonna comb through and it's gonna find everyone that you're following that's not following you back. So this could take some time. We're gonna skip this and get right to it. Okay, we finished processing. So you'll, you'll see we've selected 64 users. So of the 456 people that I'm following, 64 are not following me back and all those people have been selected. Now, up in the top right, you're gonna click actions, unfollow. Okay, so here's the next thing. Cleaner for Instagram is smart. You cannot unfollow everyone at once on Instagram. That's gonna trigger the algorithm and they're gonna block you for spamming and stuff like that. So the, the, the app will systematically over time automatically unfollow these people for you. And it will usually, you can set the limit. It will usually unfollow the first 30 really quickly and then it will stop and you can add it to a pending queue so that every hour it unfollows 30 so that you don't trigger that uh, Instagram thing. So I can click start now and you're gonna see it's gonna start to remove or unfollow those people. Okay, so I hit the limit of 30. So now is what you're gonna do is I'm gonna add it to the queue, add to local queue, and that means it's gonna automatically every hour, just in the background of my app, I don't have to have the app open, uh, it's gonna unfollow those people for me automatically. So if I go down here into settings, I can see pending queue, and uh, these are people that are going to be unfollowed over the next uh, period of time. And then, yeah, you've got local queue or cloud queue. Uh, the cloud queue is an, another upgraded feature that uh, I don't use. I just use the the local pending queue. So that's just going to um, unfollow those people for you automatically. Let's go back to following. So we got that running in the background. They're going to automatically all be unfollowed. And then you can go back and keep doing your Instagram strategy of following people, liking, commenting. And you keep doing that. So you follow people, build up your Instagram because people will follow you back and then unfollow the people that don't follow you. And you just kind of keep doing that as you continue to build your Instagram every day. You gotta do that. Let's look at some other features on the app really quickly. That's the main feature, guys, uh, that you're gonna use it for. But you can also see your followers and you can, you obviously want followers. That's the whole point of Instagram. Uh, but you can block people. 
um, you can unfollow people that you're following that are your followers. If that makes sense, that's kind of confusing. I don't really use the followers tab, really. It's just kind of there to see. You, there's also this media tab where you can see all the photos or videos that you've posted. Like I said, this is my phishing account, so you can see uh, some data, how many likes and comments you've had on all your photos. I use the repost app for this account, which I've got a video for on my channel if you wanna learn how to use the repost app. Uh, and then liked, um, I believe, yeah, these are photos that I liked from that account of on other photos but i don't really use that feature either one other thing guys that i'll say that's that's really cool is this night mode right here in settings so if i click on night mode if you have a big following on instagram or let's say okay so you're following like five thousand people and you want to go through and unfollow 700 of them that's going to take a long time and your little batch actions that we just talked about where you add it to the queue and it runs in the background, that's not really the best way to do that. If you're trying to unfollow like a thousand people, that's going to take forever. So night mode is actually a smarter way to do that. And this is something that you can do at night when your phone's just charging while you're going to bed to run this unfollow sequence. So is what this does, you can set all these settings but you can execute one action, so unfollow one person every 90 seconds. And then um, you can set up like a random delay if you want because the algorithm will detect things, but they'll they'll help you with the settings. Like they, they'll suggest the settings that you should use. And so I don't really mess with it. But then the cool thing about that is that, so right here you can see I have 34 pending actions based on the unfollow that I just ran. So I could start this right now and it will unfollow one person every 90 seconds. But for night mode, the whole purpose of night mode is that you have it running at night. So when you press start, you're gonna leave your phone on. So you'll see all these like, it's just like making weird stuff. You're gonna leave your phone on like this and you're just gonna set it down on your nightstand and go to bed and leave it like that all night. If you have an alarm, your alarm's still gonna go off, don't worry, but you're gonna leave it like this all night and when you wake up, your Instagram is going to be all cleaned out and organized uh, and you're going to be, you will have unfollowed all the people that you wanted to. So night mode's a really cool feature that I've used in the past when I'm like, I need to unfollow like 300 people. Um, you just run it when you go to bed and wake up and everything's good to go. So that's night mode. So that's a really cool feature as well with the app. The cleaner app is, in my opinion, the best app if you want to unfollow people that are not following you back and you want to do it in bulk so if you're building an instagram account this is a must-have app for you if you're going to use that strategy that i talked about like comment share to build your instagram following if you like this video guys leave a thumbs up i got a link in the description below this video that you can get the app from your app store for free and then choose if you want to do the paid upgrades to get all the features. I use the paid upgrade when I was building my accounts and it's a great feature. I'm pretty sure it's like a one-time fee. So, I mean, it's worth it if you are really serious about building an Instagram account. Share this video with your friends who are Instagrammers or vloggers or bloggers or croggers or whatever augers, whatever type of auger they are. And then leave a thumbs up guys, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the app. Let me know your Instagram business that you're building, any questions that you have. And I'll see you guys in the next video.